What's up, you horror nerds? I am so freaking excited to show you what is right here. This has been a long time coming. So obviously you know me, I'm a huge Michael Myers fan. Best fucking serial killer I find in my opinion. So obviously when they released this, I knew this was coming. So I obviously have the 2018 Halloween mask. I obviously have the original 1978 mask. And then when I saw that, you know, Trick or Treat Studios sculpt an actual Halloween kills mask from the Halloween like kills film, I about lost my shit. And of course they already had my pre-order. So here we go. Fast shipping as always. I deal with Nightmare Toys. Um, Trick or Treat Studios is the person who... Uh, sculpts them and stuff like that and they also obviously have the license and stuff to it so here we go i think i'm gonna cut my fucking finger right off yeah yeah this is a box of steel right here i'm so fucking pumped i'm so excited i haven't i've seen it i haven't seen it personally myself unboxed yet so here we go oh yeah let's go mikey Ooh. Mm, you can definitely smell it holy shit the latex my guess. I'm so fucking pumped. Let's go. Hello, Mikey. Oh, you gotta pop his whole head out. Looks like he's got wiggity wacky smack. Oh, the char on the fucking hair is insane. Hells yeah. Hold on, I gotta pop this out, guys. Sorry. This is so fucking cool. This is so fucking cool. They did such a fantastic job. Holy shit. So this is the official licensed Halloween Kills mask sculpted by, um, I don't know who they are, the guys who did it, but it's so fucking cool. So it says Halloween Kills. It tells you how to care for it. Um, I don't know who hand sculpted it, but whoever does the sculpting is fucking insane. So obviously, if you guys haven't seen the 2018 film, watch it before you see Halloween Kills. Halloween Kills comes out October 15th. I'm so fucking stoked for it, okay? I'm not vaccinated, so I won't be able to, unfortunately, enjoy it in the theaters, but I will bet your fucking ass I'm going into the drive and I will be seeing it one way or another. I don't care. But yeah, this is fucking insane. Um, watch it, guys. It's on Netflix right now. Get ready because Mikey is like like Loki gonna go fucking ham and they have like such they have like the original cast that they brought back from 1978 unfortunately didn't they didn't get to bring back Tommy Doyle but they brought back Lindsay Wallace which is played by uh Kyle Richards which is so fucking cool and you obviously know her she's famous for fucking being on those like um housewife shows or whatever but yeah look at that guys like he's his mask his mask is burnt because um if you've seen it spoiler alert Lori pris like um, traps him in her house of like terror, whatever you want to say. And she sets the whole house on fire. And obviously if you see in the trailer, you see that Mikey gets out because the firefighters are going down in the house. And then Mikey just goes on a fucking killing spree and his mask is all charred to shit. Look at that. You guys look at the paint job. Like, Oh my God, the gash on his face right there. His hair is so cool. I'm going to show you the detail on like the side of his face. Like, look at that all burnt and stuff. That's fucking insane, the paint job. And then if you actually touch, well, you can't touch it, but if you actually touch the hair, it's fucking disgusting. Touch it, mom. It's fucking it was, cool, right? Isn't it cool? It was, However, it was like an SOS pad. Like an SOS pad? pad? Oh, that's fucking cool. I don't know how the hell they did this shit, but the, the, but the texture on it is fucking insane. And I'm a huge, huge Michael Myers fan. This feels like hair. Right? Like, it's so fucking cool. And obviously, since there's more... His ear? It's really fucking cool. They did a really good job. So, um, obviously, there's so since the pandemic kind of screwed up everything, unfortunately. So, Halloween Kills was supposed to come out last year, and then Halloween Ends was supposed to come out this year. But so now, since since it got pushed back because of the pandemic, they'll release it this year for Halloween Kills. But next year, well, it it should end. And I'm really sad because I really hope and pray that Laurie Strode does not die because obviously, you know, I'm a huge Laurie Strode fan. I'm a huge Jamie Lee Curtis fan. And honestly, she's honestly one of the top survivors ever. But I don't know, man. Mikey's got some fucking moves in this film. I'm so fucking bummed. Now you can say, 
why is Michael Myers your top, top serial killer? Well, I will tell you. One, he's creepy as fuck, okay? Who doesn't love a guy with a butcher's knife with with some coveralls and some, uh, with like a boogeyman mask? Two, all he does is breathe. That motherfucker doesn't say shit. He, all he does is breathe. And while everybody's running, he's just slowly walking. And my God, my guy is so strong and he is hella smart. So yeah, it's fucking cool shit ever. Honestly, the best film. Um, I don't know, like, I'm a huge fan of all of them. I grew up, like, kind of sort of watching them. I was actually petrified at one point when I was small of watching, like, the Halloween movies. And then all of a sudden, I just love them. I have no idea why. It just is so crazy. But yeah, fucking great job, sculpting job. But yeah, I will be displaying this in my cabinet when I get it um, from Ikea. But yeah. So leave a like, leave a comment. I want to, I want you to tell me who is your favorite um, serial killer in the comments. And yeah, how fucking pumped are you guys for Halloween kills? I know I am. Ciao for now.